More movie theaters are reopening across the country and right here in Northeast Ohio today, but will people actually return to the silver screen? News 5's Amanda Van Allen takes a look at the economic impact as well as how safe it really is. Piling into a theater to catch the newest flick might seem like it happened so long ago, and that's because it did. And some folks are still trying to make up their minds on whether to return. I think we would on occasion, maybe not go as much as we used to, but we would probably go a couple times. While others know exactly what they'll do. I think we have to try to live our lives and not live them in total fear. There's nothing they can do that will let I will not go into a movie theater. No. Cinemark is opening several more of its Northeast Ohio locations today, and according to its website, things will look much different. Masks for everyone, socially distanced seating, enhanced cleaning procedures, and staggered show times. And at concession stands, they won't accept any cash. And remember those free refills you get for buying larger drinks and buckets of popcorn? Well, that's not happening right now. They're working hard to get people in the door, offering $5 tickets for adults and 3 bucks for kids. They're losing money on, on tickets, but... Uh, the goal is obviously to get people back into the movie experience and to give them confidence that it is a safe, uh, pleasant experience. Michael Goldberg is a professor of design and innovation at Case Western Reserve University. He says cinemas will have to do more than offer cheap tickets and upgraded cleaning procedures. There's a marketing uh, opportunity, if I can say it that way, for cinemas to remind folks that they are they're local businesses that need support in this time and pulling on the heartstrings of, of patrons. Despite movie theaters needing patrons in order to keep them from shutting down for good, some doctors say now still isn't the right time to go back. We want our kids in school, so we need to keep community transmission down. And the way to do that is to just mix everything else. University Hospital's Rainbow Baby and Children's Pediatric Infectious Disease Specialist Dr. Amy Edwards says being in a room with strangers for several hours is not safe. But if you still plan on going, wear a mask, sit far apart, watch your movie, leave. But the concessions, that just doesn't need to happen. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.